All right, so here we are. We're looking at a blank chart on Thinkorswim, on the Thinkorswim platform. And I'm gonna share with you guys how to install the volume profile indicator and the settings that I currently use. All right, so the next, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to studies. Now there's two different ways we can do it. My preferred way would be just go to edit study. And you might say, Mike, you don't have any studies on there. Yeah, but it makes it real easy, right? I can just go here to, and type in volume and then pro. Boom, volume profile is gonna come up. Now, if you don't wanna go that method, all right, there is another way. You can go right over here to studies, go to add study, and then you gotta go to all, and then you gotta scroll all the way down here to the second V, come over here like this, and click on volume profile. Both of them are gonna take you exactly the same. Now, once you get the volume profile on your chart, you're gonna say, wow, this is, this is awful weird, all right? How come this volume profile is here, but Where's all the other ones for each individual day? Well, there's a couple changes that we need to make. All right, so we're gonna come over here to studies and we're gonna go over here to edit study, click the little wheel right here. And here's some things that we need to change. One of the things I want you guys to see, if you look in this profile, see this black line that's like a gap in between the profile? I do not wanna see that. So to get rid of that, I'm gonna click on tick size and I want you guys to see what happens when we, when we once we change that to tick size. Boom, now the profile looks a lot more well-defined like we want to see. All right, now we're going to go back into settings, and there's a few more settings that we need to change. Time per profile, we're going to change that to day, and we're going to leave this at one. This means we're, it's going to build a profile for each individual day. Do we want to see on expansion? No. On expansion means on the right side of the chart. I do not want to see the profile there. So we're going to put no for on expansion. Show point of control. Yes, I want to see the point of control. Show value area. Yes, I want to see value area. Now this is going to be another one that I changed. So Thinkorswim has this at 70%. I actually set this down to 68% for the value area percentage. Opacity, I like to keep it kind of light so we can still see the price candles. Then now, under POC right here, you want to make sure you have all three of these um, boxes checked. We're going to change the color to yellow. Profile high, when we click right here, we, we do not want to show that plot. Profile low, I do not want to show that plot. Value area high, make sure all three of these are checked again. If you want to change the color, you can change the color of it. I'm just going to leave it as default. And again, value area low, make sure all three of these are checked. Then we want to scroll down here to where it says globals. Click on that, and I want to change the point of control down here, just make it yellow. Now, if we want the profile to be a different color, we can click right here. I'm just gonna click green just to show you guys that it changes color. Boom, there we go, we have our profile.